Bye. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're going to be making a timer in Roblox Studio in minutes and seconds. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is create some UI elements. We're going to create a timer GUI under the starter GUI. Uh, we're going to create a text label, rename it to timer label. I'm going to set the anchor point of that to 0 0.5 on the X axis. Uh, set the background transparency to 1. Set the position to 0 0.5 on the X axis. Uh, change the font. Change the color of the font. Um, we're going to create another uh, screen GUI, name this one Game Over GUI. This is what's going to pop up whenever uh, the timer is on zero. Uh, just duplicate the timer label and copy it over or move it over to the Game Over GUI. Rename it Game Over Label. Give it some Game Over text. We are going to set Enabled to uh, be unchecked for the Game Over GUI. Uh, set the text on the timer label uh, to be zero colon zero zero and then create a local script under, underneath the timer GUI name it timer uh, and then now we're going to go up to the replicated storage and we need to create three values the first one being time left uh, and then the second one being minutes and the third one will be seconds we're putting these in replicated storage because we can access replicated storage from both local clients and the server. Uh, so we're also going to create a server script underneath the server script service. And we are going to name it to be uh, time handler. Now it's time to get the scripting. So we are in our time handler script. Just copy what I'm doing. Uh, one thing I just realized that I did was not put local in front of all of my variables like RS, time left, and minutes and seconds. I, I didn't put local RS or local time left. I don't know why I did that, but uh, everything still works the same. But if I were you, I would put local in front of all the variables. So anyways, we are just uh, grabbing the, the uh, variables in our replicated storage, setting the time left dot value to 300. Uh, so that's 300 seconds, which is five minutes. And right here is where the magic starts for the timer. Uh, so minutes, this is gonna take the uh, time left value and divide it by 60, which is, will give us the minutes, but the seconds will do time left value modulo 60. And so what that does is it takes like the remainder after dividing it by 60, whatever's left over. And now we're going to go over to our timer scripts, which is uh, what will be ran on the local client and the player starter GUI. So we're just grabbing a hold of all of our different GUIs. Uh, we've got the timer GUI, game over GUI, and then we're also getting the timer label, which is just the timer text itself. Again, I didn't put local in front of all these variables. If I were you, I would do that. Uh, grabbing replicated storage, and then we're just grabbing those same three uh, values that we've created in replicated storage. And we're going to connect a function to the event of when seconds has changed. The reason we're doing seconds is because it's the last one to change over in our timer handler script. So whenever the seconds change, uh, we are going to run this function or run these lines of code. So we're saying the timer label.txt equals string.format and just copy what I'm typing here. This, this is what formats it uh, to show up uh, in minutes and seconds or uh, Two, two characters to the left of the colon and two characters to the right of the colon. Um, yeah, it doesn't really make sense by looking at it, but it works. And then we just want to say in an if statement, if the time left value is equal to zero, then we just want to uh, set the timer GUI to not be enabled and set the game over GUI to be enabled. And then if we run it, it should work but it doesn't, let's see what it is. Okay, so there's an error, it's not grabbing the game over GUI. Uh, so we just need to make it wait 
uh, wait until it can grab it. And then now it is working. Let's make sure it is uh, still working after getting past 450. All right, so it is working. It's formatted correctly. Let's stop it and then let's Let's make sure it works when it gets to zero. So let's set the time left value to just five seconds. And so once it hits zero, it should display game over and it is working. And so that's it guys. That's how you make a timer uh, the easy way in Roblox Studio. Uh, if this video was useful to you, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. Yes. Bye.